Welcome to Collecting Chaos. Yeah, I kind of messed up. It's Friday morning. It's 6 11. I don't have my Freeform Friday video done. So I'm going to do it right here, right now, record it through StreamYard and post it, and hopefully everything will be fine. The bad part is, I don't have anything prepared. Good part is, it's Freeform Friday. So I got to thinking, what do I want to do? I pulled a box from my a Superman collection and figured I'd show you that. So uh, let's get started with that, shall we? Once I get it all together. Yeah, I got a box here. It's a tote, really. And it's full of stuff that I've collected over the years of, of Superman. Of course, because that's one of my main things I collect. And I'm just going to show it to you and do that. Uh, first thing is an audio book, Superman Lives. Uh, it's never been opened. I, you know, I read the book. I mean, the whole story of his fight to the death with Doomsday and the triumphant returns. Well, yeah, I read that story. I don't need to read the book. Or have it read to me. And then from Six Flags, I have the pennant for Superman the Escape. Uh, and a customer of, my, customer of mine brought me this when I had a store. And so, yeah, I kept that. I need to get something to keep it in to keep it nice. And this is a, see, it's a Superman ornament from 1993. And it's in the box still, of course. And a little bag here that I can never get these stupid bags open, which is one of the reasons why I leave it in the box. There we go. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty close to the thing I have up there. Now, mind you, all of this stuff that I'm going to show you today is pretty much in one coat. And this is a Christmas ornament. I might press that box down, flatten it out, and make it look a little better. Let's see what's next. Here is... A Superman the movie watch or no Superman Man of Steel watch. This is from 1991. It's still in the original package. This is a Superman watch from 1986. I probably should put it in a, in a new uh, bag, maybe a mylar or something, make it look keep it nice. A metal little metal plate for the first cover for Superman. Here's one for Action Comics number 41. Yeah, I don't even know what all is in here. What is this? Oh, this is a Superman hologram. I don't know if you'll be able to. I don't think you'll be able to see. Well, there you go. That's about as good as I can get it. Could frame that, I guess. Maybe one day. Superman bandana. And it's yeah. Like I said it's miscellaneous stuff. It's a uh, from the U.S. Postal Service. A Superman stamp keychain. And uh, Superman air freshener. I've got a couple of those. <laughs> when, did, when was that made? Uh, 1989. Superman air freshener. I just don't know what all I've got. Here is the miniature statue still in the box. Uh, I have the full size also. 
This is number 1,478 of 5,000, so this was a limited edition. Might be worth something. I don't know. What's this? This is from Kraft, from Kraft Foods, and it's uh, it's still for, it's from the Mac Kraft macaroni and cheese. It was a send away, and uh, Superman rotates on his on the Daily Planet, and I still have the original shipping box that it came in. And this is the same thing, but it's Wonder Woman. So, some of my Superman collectibles are mixed with some of my Wonder Woman collectibles. Here's a Dark Side Cup. And I do have several of the other DC heroes in this also. This is kind of a Mego style uh, Superman, and I do have the display case, or the display stand for him. I believe this is his display stand. It fits on there pretty nicely, so hopefully it is. And I should probably have this on display, but no. I need to get some kind of a case that the glass case so the dust won't fit on it. What is this? This is a Superman t shirt. Black. And it's, of course, it's licensed. So that's kind of neat. Okay. This is a Superman robe uh, that was given to me one Christmas. Uh, still have the thing. This was given to me on Christmas by the artist Mick Gray, as I remember. Coffee break. All kinds of stuff. The Warner Brothers Studio statue. I don't remember this. Oh yeah, they're all they're like mini bookends. One side's Batman. And the other side is Superman. And the way they show them, actually it's salt and pepper shakers. Okay, I didn't realize those were salt and pepper shakers, but uh, yeah. Learn something new. I've got Superman and Batman salt and pepper shakers. Stick those back in. Nice cross collectible. If I used them, I'd probably put the salt in the Superman and the pepper in the Batman. I don't know why. It's a little beat up. But it's the applause mug. But it's not just any applause mug. This is from 1989. And it's the Superman applause, or the Batman applause mug from when the movie came out. Uh, with the, the first movie with Michael Keaton. And uh, like I said, the box is in a little bit worse for share, for wear, but at least it does have the box. There's another Superman mug. I believe this is the first time I've ever taken this out. All the different Supermans from all the different years. 
and in the bottom, which is why I've never used it because I don't want the Superman to get scratched up. Yeah. To use that, I'd have to have two of them. And I only have the one. And that was uh, Superman through the years. Not sure who made it. Little Superman box. It actually has a key. And I do actually have the keys. So that's kind of a neat thing. Nice little case for something that. I don't use. Here's a Superman electric toothbrush with turbo power. I believe this might be another Superman ornament. I'm not sure. Nope. Batman from Campbell's SpaghettiOs. So that's kind of cool. Not sure why I have that. That might go up on eBay. And I have it in its original shipping box. This is a Superman birthday coin. And it's lenticular so that you know, you look at it one way, it's Superman. You look at it another way, it's Clark Kent. I don't remember what year that came out. Well, 50 years, so uh, it'd be 19, 9, 1982. Yeah, he released this in 1982, which was... That's not Superman's birthday. His birthday would have been... Uh, Here's a Superman PBC figure. And I also have Wonder Woman and a few others. Can't read it. Who, who, is, who it was done by. It's too early in the morning for me to be able to read. This is a, another Superman mug. It's pretty well wrapped. Hard to get out. This is a bunch of DC heroes. Superman... Kyle Rainier, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, The Flash, Batman. So it's Justice League, uh, Warner Brothers Studio Store. 1998. I guess I could drink coffee out of that one. Probably not. Remember I said I had other ones of these? Well, actually, I have more than I thought. I have two of these. So uh, I'll pick the best one and keep it, and the other one I'll probably sell. Or not. And from McDonald's, 
I couldn't resist having a super mug. <laughs> uh, Bugs Bunny being my favorite Warner Brothers character, Superman being my favorite uh, DC character. It's a pen from the Lois and Clark TV show. Still in its original packaging. Now you'll like this. This is another ornament, another Hallmark ornament. This one is still has the wrapping tissue on it. The Superman lunchbox ornament. And it does open. But there's no thermos, so I guess it's not worth as much. It'd be great if they had like a mini thermos in there. So. I don't know what all's in this box or in here, so that's kind of a, a thing just by itself. I'm surprised at some of the stuff I've got. I don't remember getting some of it, but I have it, so I must have it sometimes. Some of it's been given to me, some of it I've purchased. This is a... These are just Superman note cards and envelopes. So... That's kind of a thing. Here is a, uh, another collector's mug, another Superman mug. And I always thought that one was kind of cool. They did a whole series of these. They did uh, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. This one is, they limited this one to 5,000, and I don't know what one it is, or what number it is, but this was done in 1991. Here's another ornament. This is a set of two ornaments. Got the Action Comics number one and the Little Superman. Had a Little Superman. So, yeah. Put that back in its box. I think this might have been a send away figure, but I'm not sure. I don't know where I got that. Uh, I just had it. It was in the box, so yeah. This is Superman Men of Steel Matrix Conversion Coop. And it can change from Clark Kent's neat little ride to Superman's ride. So like a little Superman tie tack or a lapel pin. These are Superman Madman standees, the little bit, little tiny standees. That was a promotional item from when the Superman Madman came out. And this is a uh, 
Yeah, this is kind of a thing. Superman in a phone booth. Or is it Clark Kent? But it only changes when the phone booth is closed. Or did I break it? It only works if the if the phone booth is closed. And I have one that's unopened. So I have two of those, one that's open and one that's unopened. And this this was from Jack in a Box. I think I have more of this stuff too somewhere. This is from nineteen eighty seven. The Superman coin for his 50th anniversary. And then I have a Superman pendant, like a necklace, but it has, uh, what's his name? It's Clark Kent. Uh, once his name is Superman um, from Lois and Clark, I think. Maybe not. No, that's Christopher Reeve. This is a uh, the promotional card from the Skybox Metallic set, and I do have that set. I have a couple of different ones. There's a Superman magnet. Getting near the bottom of the box, I have the Golden Sound Story, Superman Shadow Over Metropolis, still sealed in the pack. I'm sure it doesn't work. I'm sure the batteries are dead in it. But uh, it has replaceable batteries, so. Yeah, I'm fairly sure those batteries are shot. And that's it. That's what I had in that tub. And so that's kind of neat stuff. And uh, that's my Freeform Friday video for today. Uh, all done in one shot, amazingly enough. I do have a, a couple other things. If I have room, I'm going to put them in that box. My... Uh, Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Some neat stuff, uh, stuff I haven't looked at in a long, long time. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I do drop videos starting next week, four times a week. I do the Monday morning show. I do Freeform Friday. I do the Eternal My Life Project on Wednesday and either on Tuesday or Thursday, depending on how I feel. I do a cleaning with chaos video. So there's four videos a week, plus my live stream that I do Thursday evenings, and I show up on Patrick Murphy's um, late night with Patrick Murphy on Sunday and on Wednesday. On Friday nights, that's tonight, I'll be on Horizon Picks Auction, and uh, probably sometime in the month of November, I'm going to start doing a buy it now show and I'm not sure exactly what day of the week that'll be on uh, but uh, yeah it's gonna be it's basically an auction but there's no bidding it's just this is what I have this is what I want for it if you want to buy it there it is if you don't want to buy it that's fine let's move on to the next item and uh, those buy it nows will be good for the whole night uh, or actually they'll probably be good for like a week uh, for anything that I have more than one copy of. Uh, yeah, if you want to help support me, you know, I always got Patreon down there in the description. You're, I'm, That's always appreciated when somebody signs up for that. And, of course, it's not supporting me. It's supporting the channel. I do need some more equipment. I do need some more software. That stuff costs money. That's why I have a Patreon page to help me pay for that stuff. Uh, so... Or buy me a cup of coffee. That's down there, too. Uh, make sure before you handle your comics, cards, toys, collectibles. 
wash your hands. It's good for your, good for your collection. Good for your health. And uh, we will see you next video. Bye.